Welcome, 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 guys. It is The Real Yana Lou here on Chew and Chat, and we are back live five filming and bringing you some more great people to interview and just to dive into their life. Tonight, guys, I wanted to get into a topic about business and business ownership. There is a lot of things out here that it goes behind the scene that we just don't know, you know, about, but I want to tap into it and let this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful guest of mine um, that I am so proud of, and she is a part of my African-American race, which makes me proud yet once again. Guys, it is time to start showing what the African-American people are out here doing. I know what they're saying we're doing and how they're trying to depict us, but we don't show no frown faces. Mm -hmm. We show it in our work ethic. So guys, I'm just gonna tell you, please welcome her, give her a warm welcome when she comes out. She is a... Um, a multi, I guess I say, many, 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 many hats she wears. Um, she's very intriguing. She has many hats, again, like I said. But one of the favorite things that she does is her spoken word. And she doesn't want to call herself a singer, but I think her voice is amazing. So I'll let you guys call her what you want. And when we come back from this break, you're going to meet this wonderful Miss Indian girl, native, doing her thing and chopping it up with Yana Lou, talking about some great topics and giving you guys some information so that you can see things from a different perspective and learn how to grow. Guys, we'll be right back in a sec and we'll be chopping it up with Miss Indian girl, native. Mwah. All right, guys, welcome, welcome back. That was a great commercial. That was a welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And guys, I want you to know that I am ready to bring this young lady on. As I told you, Miss Indian Girl Native, she is um, more than a one-time business owner. She has promoted different companies. She has helped different people. She has come so far and she has something special. She come from my high school. Mwah, mwah. I love it. I love it. So, guys, without further ado, here is Miss India Girl Native. Thank you. Thank oh you my for God! Me on. Yes, 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 yes. I love you. Love All right, you. Love Cross alum. All right, Norcross. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't Both know. Side. Both. <laughs> <laughs> we get we get we give a little props to the crack. What's up, KP? We both love you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you are from Norcross High School, everybody knows about KP Yana, KP Indian Girl. You know, yeah. we all we we love y'all. And yeah. and Jaquita. Mwah. Much love. Shout That's out to my Jaquita. BFF, Jaquita. Yeah. Jaquita, we love you. I think Indian girls down here right now trying to figure out a way to get you on a podcast so we can bring you in. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. Definitely. Because we, we have good talks, great talks, and it's, it's for the world to see. So amazing. You know, amazing. That. What's what's so uh giving a birthday, giving a, a good girl shout out, what's a good thing about your friend Jaquita? What is it that you love about her? She's very patient. Uh-huh. And she listens well because I talk a lot. So you need a friend. Yes. <laughs> you need a friend that listens. Yes. If you, you somebody to talk, you need a friend to listen. But, you know, you got to reciprocate too. So I, I try my best to even out the playing field and listen to her when she needs it. Okay. But, yeah, okay. we've been friends for over 30 years, though. So, okay. And we know each other inside and out. So, like, and it's a, it's a thing to have a friend where when you need a break, yeah. we give you that break. Yeah. There's no animosity. So we wow. give each other breaks and space, and then we come back even stronger. And it's just, we're just going to grow old together. I know it. Aw, Kita, Kita, I love you. Well, when I was going to Norcross High School, Kita was a baby, and I think Sparkle was babysitting Jaquita and um, her baby sister, uh -huh. and that was an awesome thing. That was really, really an awesome thing. P, I think uh, the guy's outside, so call his phone. It's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, the real Yana Lou, I get real down here, and we're, 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 we're not going live this time, but, you know, we're going to play with it. We have a beautiful guest that's outside that's trying to come on in, guys, and it's another hot guest that's coming in to uh, talk to you guys at uh after miss india native girl i'm gonna tell you one thing that i like about you is um i like your entrepreneurship talking about business getting to the point mm -hmm. um i love the fact that you have your own clothing line mm -hmm. you know um i want you to go into each one of these entities with me and go down the line so people can understand how it is to become these entrepreneurs that's a lot of stuff y'all got to go through yeah yeah definitely um the clothing line that was one of the last things i've, I've done um and that was right before COVID. So it, it had a good start. Um, I've always wanted a clothing line. I've always worked on it. It was going to be called Indian Girl Sport. The big thing was, you know, um, I'm a tomboy. I like to work out. And, I, and I st I'm, still a, I'm still a girl. 
So right. it's like, I wanted to incorporate the sporty and the sexy. Okay. And it took years to get there. And then finally, like 2019, I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Yeah. And so um, I did. And it was it had a good start. And then COVID hit and everybody had a clothing line. <laughs> So um, I kind of put it off to the side and I was working on other people's lines for them and helping them get their things out. So now I'm revamping it just to focus on Tomboy Lifestyle, which is the main brand of the clothing line. So um, again, it's sporty, sexy. So it was a, it's a, it's, it's when you're in business, it's like, if you don't try, how will you know? Yeah. So I was okay with trying and not failing. But trying and keep trying and keep mm-hmm, trying mm-hmm. and um, until you get it. So I'm still in the trying to, I'm still pushing that brand. I'm still pushing it. And I know it's going to be successful. So um, so that was one of my last little babies. Um, but, you know, my main business is Indian Girl Entertainment. That's the main mm-hmm. business. So, um, and it's event planning, event staffing. I've been doing it for um, since I was 21, since okay. age of 21. So I um, started off. Um, planning parties. Um, I'm the person that I'm a little OCD and I want everything done right. Uh I want everything done organized. So I became the person that planned everything. And it's like, well, I might as well make money doing it. Well, why not? So over the years, we added different things to it. And it wasn't my full time. It's just something I just always did. When the phone rung, I did it. I learned how to bartend. So I added bartending. And then we, you know, then you add different services on. And probably in 2015, um, I started adding on staff. Okay. And that was a scary time for me to add staff because it's like, okay, if I add staff, I got to make sure they can work. Mm-hmm. And um, at the time I was married and um, I learned a lot of about business because I'm the type of person, I'm going to do everything myself. Oh, yeah. I do everything myself. Oh, yeah. so if something messes <laughs> up, then you I know it's on me. me, you know. So it's like I'm doing everything myself. I don't like to invest money. I'm one of those people that mattress savings, not investing. And I, I married oh, okay. someone that was like, no you have to do something different. And and just think how much more business you have when you have a bunch of little yous running Mm -hmm, around mm -hmm. doing the same thing that you're doing. That's how you expand your business. And I'm glad that's something I learned from that relationship. And so I did step out on faith and we prayed about it and I hired the people on and the work just started coming in. And then with good work ethic and good quality services, you continue to grow your business. So um, we're over... um, pretty sure we're over 2,000 events by now um, that we've done in Metro Atlanta area. We've been in D.C., Maryland, Virginia, Charlotte, Savannah, um, just some of everywhere. We've gone to Texas. We've gone to California with the business. So um, we're international and we're national. I love her. So, so yeah, so um, just, just knowing that, you know, if you commit to the business and you work it every day. Yes. That's how you become successful. And every day you're meaning getting up, writing a, writing something out, writing the plans of the business out, doing the footwork towards it, and not just sitting it on the shelf thinking about it. Because it's a difference when you're just thinking about it. There's a time for that yeah, when I mean, you think about it, but you, you got to be moving. <laughs> You I tell people like just do it, just start it. And, right. You know, if you're gonna wait for everything to be perfect, mm-hmm. you're never gonna start the business. That's right. So, you know, I may be like picky about a certain things, but it's like some things I just put it out there, like, you know, every logo I did for each company is like I just put it out there and then I revamped it and revamped yeah. it. I said it doesn't matter, you know, I just as long as there's a logo out there and then you revamped it till you get it to where you yeah. want it. But you put the name out there. That's right. You're putting yourself out there and you can make changes as you go. Who's gonna tell you? That you can't make changes to your business is yours. That's right. So, you know, in the beginning, it is the planning. It is the investing the money. And then understand, it doesn't happen overnight. So yeah. if you're expecting to get rich the first month, the first week, I mean, even the first year, then, you know, you kind of set yourself up for failure. So okay. you do have to understand that um, it's going to take time and it's going to take you. And go back to, okay, I'm going to do this nine to five for this person to make yeah. money. And I can get up every day at this time, six in the morning, mm-hmm. go sit in Atlanta traffic Ooh. and get there. Don't do it to so, me, girl. So you got an eight-hour job that you're at, but you're going away from home 12, 13 hours out the day. Yeah. So if you're putting that same time into your own business, setting that alarm, getting up every day, I learned a lesson um, I want to say my dad said it's like if you get up and get dressed like you got somewhere to go, and you always have somewhere to you go. You always have. And so every day I get up. I might just go to the gym first, but I get up. I got somewhere to go between six and eight, and I go to the gym and I get dressed and I and I start my day. So when my phone rings, I'm ready. Right, part. I'm always ready. Mm-hmm. Always ready. If they say we need to have a meeting, we want to meet with you. We want to do this. Da, 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 I'm ready. I'm that dressed part. and ready to go. I like you know, it. So 
that's that's one of the things you got to be committed. You got to be disciplined, very disciplined. So yeah. So I know it was hard. Um, I know it was hard starting the business. You know, when you initially think about it, you know, you have those fears, those things that can stop you, that can become a hurdle, that can become a distraction. So how did you defeat those obstacles in your life and creating the visions that you've already created? You know, the crazy part about it, I was thinking about it. Um, <laughs> I think I've, I've been living this life so long. I started mm -hmm. working when I was 10. Okay. So what type of work you was doing at 10? I was babysitting. Get Two little kids. Two hours, the twice girl a week. on fire. You know, the mom was the robust instructor <laughs> or whatever, and I lived two yeah. doors down. She seen me. She's like, "Hey, I need somebody to watch my kids." Okay. Crazy how they trust us with their kids all the time. They know we're natural nurturers. Yeah. So, um, ten years old, babysitting two kids, and um, at twelve years old, I was doing outside sales. So it was for um student work programs. So we did door to door sales, yeah. and then you know from there, fourteen years old, I started braiding hair. I found one of my cars. I, saw, I don't even remember making a business card for this. So it was like, I constantly, I just wanted to make money. So it was like, I did multiple things. While I'm braiding hair, I'm babysitting two more kids. I'm working at Dairy Queen down the street in, in Norcross. I'm working, we did McDonald's in the summertime. So it's like, I constantly worked, worked, worked. And both of my parents worked. They were going like 12 hours a day, both of them. They woke up and they left. And so that's what we saw and that's what we knew. And I've always worked for myself because they wouldn't give me a job at 15. Mm. So I had to keep braiding hair and I yeah. had to do the babysitting jobs while everybody's, I was jealous. They was working at McDonald's and stuff. And I thought about it. <laughs> like, you're getting bread and I'm not. <laughs> you, you run your own business, right? You, you mad at them. So, you know, that, that, that did it for me. And then, you know, when I had my first child, it was like, I have to be able to take care of her. Exactly. The biggest fear is me being broke. So like that baby <laughs> was that life switch to say, you know what? If it was a time to play, it's no more because this. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, and you have one or two? I have two kids. Okay. Yeah. So that was my, that was a, we grew up together is what I say. And if mm -hmm. it wasn't for her, um, I probably still would have been an entrepreneur. What type of entrepreneur? I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> I like to keep it legit because I don't want nobody was going to take my baby from me. Listen. So, you know, so it would just being a parent and say, I got this person that I got to take care of and I have to show them that, to do. you know, what, what they can do when they get older. You know, don't let the system or society tell you because you're a young parent or you're a single mom or whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. you're not going to make it. I, I, that was my biggest thing. Oh my God, I'm going to be a statistic. Mm -hmm. I can't be a statistic. So, you know, that was the drive. Basically. Yeah. That was the drive. And um, I was in corporate for five years, but I was still doing other things while right. I was in corporate. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to let go of corporate because that was like, I know this check is coming in. Yes. I that security making, blanket. Yeah. I was making more. I want to break away, but. Yeah. <laughs> I was making more doing the other stuff than my, okay. my business, but I knew. That was that was it. That was that's the savings in me. The one person mm -hmm. didn't want to invest. Then then my job laid me off. And then when they laid me off, I was like, I'm not going back. Yeah. I'm not going back. I just kept focusing on my businesses and kept growing and figuring it out. Like everybody said, Oh, she'll figure it out. She'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah. So that's what I did. So Yeah. Okay. I love it. Guys, I mean, listen. Miss India Girl, let me say, native, is on the path of greatness, successfulness, and living her goals and her dreams. And that's some of the things that, you know, I love to promote is because people are struggling out here every day. India, they just don't know how to pull themselves out that rut sometimes. Yeah. You know, and it's good to have a young lady like you come on set and show them your vigor, your life, your, yeah. you know, your joy. And yeah. even I love seeing the joy in your face when you're telling it because it's, yeah. it's your passion. Yeah. That's, that's an awesome thing. So when it comes to the, um, I know one of your companies is your moving company. How did that business come about? Um, <laughs> um, I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I did have a contracting company. Uh, with, we did. We had a roofing company, um, and the, we split the business where I kept my business, they kept their business, um, and we did packing and moving. So I, I had this young man that. He was very skilled in the moving field. And I was like, I saw the passion in him wanting to have something of his own. So I started this business and I partnered with him because I saw his potential. Nice. So I started a whole business amongst all my other stuff and said, hey, look, I believe in you. I'm going to give you this. Let's see what we can do with it. And uh, we started the moving company. And then um, 
it, it transformed like six months down the line. We added the transporting part, which is more my division. So the moving company is his division and the mm -hmm. transport is mine. But, you know, I'm behind the scenes on all the businesses. So <laughs> I got to make sure all the right. work is right. I'll make sure the contracts is right. And we are customer service focused at all times. So. That part. You yeah. say you OCD, right? Yeah. All of it have yeah. to line up, right? Yeah. T's, I's, dots, all of that. Yeah, but you and in, and in partnering in business, that's another thing. Uh, if you're going to partner with someone in business, Understand your roles. Know what your yeah. strengths and weaknesses are. Mm -hmm. Don't be um, don't be upset if you feel like someone maybe feel like somebody has more of the business than you do. Right. You got to set those roles. You got to understand what you're strong at and know if it's a part, true partnership. Mm -hmm. This is where you're good at, and this is where they're good at, and that's why you're a partnership. Exactly. So that's how businesses stay together. If you have a partnership, that's how y'all stay together. Keep the lines of communication open and also understand your roles to make the business successful. Mm -hmm. And don't step on each other's toes. Like, this is your thing. This is, I'm going to let you do your thing. This is my thing. I'm going to do my thing. We can discuss it outside of it, but you know that's how you keep a business going and a, and a strong partnership going. So yeah. I would definitely, definitely do that or just do it solo. <laughs> hey, you could do it solo. You know, I like partnership. My, like my partner here, we're partner. And that's yeah. one thing that I love. I'll let him do his thing. Now I take pictures. I do, but that's not my lane. You know what I'm saying? That's that's something I'll have to take some time to get into, to dive in. And I'm not trying to do that. Y'all don't look like being a host, right? Mm -hmm. I like being a host. I like giving information. I like talking. Yeah. 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 Love that. Love y'all. So guys, some of the nuggets that she's she's giving you guys today is staying focused in your in your in your dreams, right? Yeah. Um, making sure you put yourself first. You put your best foot forward. Whatever you do, put your best out. Um, paying attention to uh, your partner. Making sure that you know this person. Mm -hmm. Making sure everything is lined up and they know their lane and they're solidified in their lane, so it could be an even flow, yeah. right? Yes. And you know, there's other things that uh, Miss Indian Girl have up her sleeve. She also has a beautiful clothing line. And I like that. We your your clothing line, Tom uh, Tomboy. Yeah. Work. So yeah. Um, back to that. Yeah. So Tomboy um, lifestyle, of course, it comes from me being a tomboy. <laughs> I'm someone that don't like to get my hands dirty. I don't I don't mind working hard, but um, at moments you still want to be a girl. You still want to work out. You still want to do all these things, and you still want to feel feminine. But you know, you want to let them know, like I'm a tough cookie. You know, yeah, I'm nothing to be played with. So mostly we have the um the hats and the t-shirts and the hoodies and things like that. We have some of our joggers, which has the logo across the front. Um, and it's it's really it's, it's something you can dress up and dress down. So like if you want to go to the gym, if you want to go walk up for a walk outside, you want to go do some yard work, or you want to put some heels on with it with a you nice cute, cute tank like you know this or whatever. You know you can do that and still sex it up and cute it up or whatever. So um that's. As everything that I do is focused around my life and things that I've gone through and who I am at the okay. core. So um, everything I do is not for fluff. It's not for anything but to show who I am. And hopefully other people see that and say, hey, that's who I am too. Yeah. And can relate to it and say, yeah, I, I, I can dig it. Okay, it's somebody else out there like me. Exactly. So. I'm not alone. I'm not alone in being great. <laughs> Guys, y'all got to give her some kudos on that. Because, I mean, that's a, that's a lot of hard work, young lady, to be 44 and to be as vigorous and, and outgoing as you are and keep it all together. That's a hard job. And a lot of people can get that mistaken because, like I say, they just see the bling of it. Mm -hmm. But you don't know the behind the work, the yeah. legwork of it all. Yeah. And being an entrepreneur, you know, a business owner itself, you have to take risks. Yeah. There's some things you guys got to do. So I say kudos to you, yeah. mama. Kudos yeah. to you. I love it. Um, so tell me a little bit about your spoken word and your music and all those good things. Well, um, I've been writing um, poetry and music since the age of seven. So um, that's something that I've always done. And um, we started a group. My mom got us together with two of our friends in high school. We started a group when I was 14. Um, my mother said I couldn't sing, so I had to be the rapper and the songwriter. <laughs> so I wrote all our songs. I did the rap, my sister and the other girl song or whatever. And um, it was called Touch of Color. Um, okay. <laughs> we did a couple of uh, uh, what are, what are the talent shows at the school at Norcross. Shout out to Norcross. Um, and so um, I, music has always been a big part of my life. Okay. Um, writing uh, was a way for me to cope with trauma that I had early on. So that's why I started writing. Um, and then, you know, as I got older, every relationship, almost every relationship I got in, somebody was into music. My daughter's father okay. was heavy into music. So it was something that was always there. Um, my ex-husband was into music. My first 
ex-husband was poet did a lot of poetry so we bonded over that okay and then um and i like i said i'm not a, i'm not a i'm, I'm not really the spoken word type poet mm -hmm. um but i've been to those type of atmospheres and did my thing and just read my poetry and did what i did and i'm not a singer um my voice won't allow me to get into those ranges and stuff like Ooh. that but I call it chanting. What I do is chanting. So everything I do is it's a chant. So whether it's a song, whether it's a um, rap, whether it's my poetry, right? It's all a chant, and it's me telling my story in that format. No matter how it comes out, my voice, um, even me talking, like um, the album, I have scriptures on there. Yeah, I'm talking about my life. I'm reciting someone else's poem. I'm mm -hmm. doing the spoken word to music. I'm doing the songs, um, and then I'm doing the rap. And then, you know, at the end of the album, I thank everybody, you know, hey. <laughs> that helped me get there. So that part, um, I like it, the give back. So yeah, so the album is it's I it's a project. It's called um, Her Story and Audio Biography because it's the whole thing is my life from start mm -hmm. to finish. And why I say it's a project because everything a part of it is a part of me. So even the videos, um, I have a young lady that, that came to our house and moved in with us. So I, I helped, I had her come video it. Okay. You know, I had uh, one of my longtime friends, he, you know, came up and doing photography. I let him take the pictures because he's a nice. part of my life, nice. you know? And so I'm, I'm doing the videos. I'm doing everything I do, like photography, videography, um, scripts and things like that. And, and, you know, you know, doing the scripts and, and doing the treatments and writing everything out. You know, I have my son, he did two of the beats on there. Nice. I have my daughter singing on three of the tracks. I have my sister, my brother in love, um, all these people. And then, you know, the men in my life, there is touches of them throughout the story. Cause it's a story of love. So okay. those people are part of it too. Whether I loved and lost, I'm not going to leave that out my story is keeping yeah, it real you gotta beautiful. get that stuff in there the part. so all that you know the scripture because I'm, I'm religious so that's in there too and then the side of me that's like eff it you know what I'm saying I, this is who I am too I'm a Christian but I'm not gonna fake it I curse too behind closed doors so we got <laughs> that on, on there too like I'm gonna I'm, this is how I really want to be when I'm behind closed doors you know we want to yell and scream but we get out there and say yes Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, and so that's on there too. So it's a, a story of my life and it's a journey of my life. And um, those people that helped put it together is all mm -hmm. people that were a part of my life. It wasn't anybody that was a part of this project that doesn't know me and hasn't known me for a long time. Okay. So um, those are people I brought in. I have one track where I brought all my friends in, my closest friends, and put them in the video to showcase these different women of color mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in a different light. So it was Jaquita one of the women on the face? She's in California. So. I know. I was like, do oh, she look different? Jaquita's but I did love was, it. Jaquita's part was me sending everything to her to get her approval. So she, she <laughs> That's Jaquita. Jaquita always been your mama. Did, Let me I, see. I sent it to her for the approval process. So that mm -hmm. was her, her part in it. Okay. You know? So she was a part of the approval process. So yeah. Okay. She all up in it. Yeah. Still, still. She's still. like, yeah, I don't need to listen to the whole album. I heard it already. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's <laughs> me. Good. I love it. So the journey, the walk of it all with your spoken word um, and you say it's therapeutic for you. That's that's a beautiful thing because it gives you another gateway to open up and be expressive opposed to projecting your whatever you went through on mm -hmm. somebody else in a yeah. relationship. Yeah. That's good in business, too, because yeah. I've seen several people come into relationships and business. And because of personal things, it kind of hinders their walk where they're going. Well, you still have to. Um... Just writing and keeping it to yourself bottled up, you do end up blowing up. Mm. So writing and or having an outlet, let that be your outlet. Mm -hmm. But when you get to the point of um, when you're calmed down and you got out of your feelings, you still have to have that communication and yeah. talk to that person. Just let that be the start of it because that happens to me a lot, um, me just taking all my frustration and just writing. Like I have so many emails and text messages I've never sent. Mm -hmm. And it's in a folder. Yeah. This is what I wanted to say to this person. I know it's not right for me to say it in that way, but then I had to go back and find the right way to say it where they can That's understand beautiful. how I feel. That's beautiful. So, That's different. Yeah. So you type it and get your expression out, your mm -hmm. feelings out, Never but you don't it. send it. Yeah, I don't even type it well, on there. I don't even. Y'all know, go send it. Yeah, look, I'll piss me off. It's on. In there because I don't want to make a mistake and send it. I type it in a whole nother notebook somewhere. But it's so good because I can learn. You know, we learn something new every day, yeah. right? So I'm learning, guys, that don't send it. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, this, this is good stuff. Because me, I'm going to send it to your ass. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to mistake it. We, once you type it in another place, you got to copy it and paste Ooh, it and send it. You baby. got time to think about it and you won't send it. You hey, Indian like, girl, look, I'm going to tell you something so funny. It's probably going to be all jacked up because I'm a voice text yeah, first and yeah, foremost, yeah. right? 
<laughs> these, two, yeah. these two beautiful girls. I'm a voice sexer, and I'm not going to give two hoots whether it's corrected saying. or not. Yeah. Play Sudoku with your mind and get it right. They're going to be like, I don't even know what you're saying. Well, Say that again. I'm not even going to read it. Oh, fine. Figure yeah. it out. Figure it out. Yeah. Love yeah. you. Love you. Yeah, so so tell, me, tell me some of your uh, social media handles so people can know how to find you, look you up, see you. Where you at? What you doing? Everything is Indian girl. It's spelled like this. You know, make sure you spell it right. It's I Check it out. D-N-G-R-L underscore native is where um, all of the, the albums and, the, and the, the music and things like that are. Indian Girl Entertainment is our, my main baby, my entertainment company for event staffing, event planning. And then you got Indian Girl Photography, which is off print. So it's like vi videography and photography and things like that. Um, and um, CGI Transports is where you find the moving company and the transport. So all those, that's Instagram for that. And then my album is on all platforms. So go to any platform you can yes, find it on. Yes. Um, Indian Girl underscore native. And um, like I said, I have a visual also, so you can go to YouTube and look me up as well. So there's a there's a visual for each one of the um, the tracks on there. Again, chapters. They're chapters because it's a story. That's it's right. My, it's my book, my little audio book. So um, each chapter, and again, it goes in chronological order and goes pretty quickly from you know from high school. Oh, I skip to marriage and then <laughs> go from there. So um, it's a, a big ramp up or whatever. But right. um, you know, you you want to be able to tell your story in a way that it's understood. But you know, you only get so much time. Yeah. Um, to tell the story. So I, I hope it comes across well. Uh, some people's like, it sounds a little melancholy in the beginning. I'm like, no, oh, you know. Yeah, it's a starter. It's a, you know, you know, if you jump start talking, you. talking, you can skip the track four. That's where the music starts. Right, you know, right. Go to track four to 12 if you don't want to hear the talking because the talking is the first three tracks. So, you know, it's something for everybody. I hope it's something okay. for everybody where they get something, out, whether they learn something or they feel something or they feel compelled mm -hmm. or they feel empowered in some things. Because, you know, I got, I got a lot of great feedback where women feel like, oh, yeah, that's my story. I felt yeah. that, you know, this is my battle cry. Yeah. I sing this one every day, you know, so it's, it's very good to hear You're about that. to cry? I'm oh, you're so to. cute. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to have you some tissue. God <laughs> darn it. <laughs> yeah, so. That's beautiful. Yeah, so, I mean, just just like like I said, the story, um, my story started off really sad, and I'm just hoping uh, at this point in my life, uh, I've yeah. let go of a lot of things in my life, and I'm coming into who I really am and who I'm really supposed Amen. to be. So. Amen. Emotionally, because, you know, work, 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 that's what I do. I work, and I think the working just covers up all the other stuff. Yeah. And now it's important that you got to sit down and you got to sit with yourself sometimes and 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 figure your stuff out. Like my mm -hmm. mom used to say, figure your ass out. She tells yeah. everybody, I was like, you need to figure your ass out. <laughs> like you got to sit with yourself. That's right. And that's sometimes the hardest thing to do. If you can't sit with yourself, why do you expect anybody else to sit with you? You know. I'm, I'm a detective and I ain't coming around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm saying now, you guys see what yourself. You do, guys. So we're going to go off the break, guys. And I love Indian Girl. Make sure you guys go on her, all her social media handles, patronize her business, get into her, support her, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Buy her tickets and mm -hmm. all that, okay? Patronize her business. But when we come back, Indian Girl, I would love for you to give us a piece. Um, do a spoken word piece. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You think I'm going to have you on here doing all that lovely and I ain't going to get a little bit of that? <laughs> that girl funny. <laughs> I love it. So um, I was I was looking at the one with the faces, the one that you sent to me. The um, Her Story? Oh, God, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, no, I can't. I don't have that one memorized. No, that's, 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 okay. Y'all, that's up and coming. That's when Indian Girl comes back. Guys, yeah. you have to hear her story because that was amazing. Yeah. I think I had like a couple of tears because it was just so real mm -hmm. what you were saying and how you penetrated me, my intellect. You know what I'm saying? My inside. I was like, oh, okay. This girl is hot. And I said, I got to tell her, I love you. Hmm. I love you. I love the support. So, guys, we'll be back in just a minute and we'll come back with Indian Girl. We have another hot guest coming up. Guys, please stay. Please, 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 please stay on your toes for these guests. And we will see you back live five in a second. Mwah. Peace. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Yana Lou back here on Chew and Chat with Yana Lou and Indian Girl. And I promised you guys we might have a little piece. She might give us a little snippet. We don't want to force her in our actions, but uh, if we get a little something from her, guys, we just appreciate it. Um, let me think. Which one can I? Because most of them has music to it. So uh, let me see which one. Um, I got. Okay, I love you. I love you. Did you hear what I said? I said I love you. Love you through space and time. I love you through reason and rhyme. I love you. Not more than you for me, 
but love you through what you can see, through the depths of your path, even when you think it doesn't last. To, I love you from the place where we sit and stand still, where we can't imagine to be real. When we've given up on love and we stretch to the above, bring it back down to you and I, where only the love lie. You're going to have to go I to chapter. I love you. You're going to have to go to chapter eight to see the rest of that video. <laughs> Oh, you too. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love you. I told you I love you Look, from the phone. We were communicating. Yeah. You know, I do. I love you. I think it's amazing, amazing, amazing. So what are some things that you have up and coming or, or is there anything special or somebody you want to give a shout out to that you love and you, they hear? You know, we already I love everybody. I just want y'all to know that. Some people get funny about that because mm. I, when I talk to anybody, yeah. I tell them I love them before I get off the phone. That's right. And um, that's why I did that piece because it make, I, I know it's how people get uncomfortable. Even family. They're like, yeah. all right, then I love you. They're like, oh, oh, oh. like what? <laughs> and then your friends. It's like, we should be more open open and okay with yes. telling our family and friends yes. we love them. Yes. Sometimes I'll be able to get off a business call if I say, I oh yeah, no, this is a business call. But, you know, just telling people that we love them and expressing that love, there's nothing wrong with that. And it doesn't That's romanticize right. it. Love is so many different layers and people have to understand that. Like, it's nothing wrong with telling people you love them. So I love everybody. Um, so for Indian Girl Entertainment, we have a lot of new things coming up for 2023. Yes, yes, yes. We have our dream bar V. I'm so excited about this bar. It's, it's so beautiful. Time, long time coming. It's, it's my little baby, my little headache, you know, that newborn baby that cries all night and keep you up. But eventually <laughs> you just love looking at their face every day. So that's the dream bar V. The dream bar V is a bar that we bring to you. Um, it's, it's like a little RV. Um, and then the bartenders on the inside, we can serve the drinks just like with the food trucks. So it's the same thing. If you got a food truck for your outdoor event, you can have us pull up the bar V. Um, we also want to be at events and festivals and things like that. And not just alcohol. We can serve non-alcohol. We're doing hookah, mobile hookah out of here as well. So it's a lot of different things we can do with this. Um, and I'm so excited to get out, get it out on the road. So that was that's a big thing with um, Indian Girl Entertainment. And then our venues. So we do have venues. We have four different venues, three venues that we partner with and our own venues. So um, our venues are, you know, can, can hold anywhere from 50 to 200 people. So all of your events, even if you want to do an open mic or your album release party or a listening party or your bachelor party, bachelorette party, your baby shower, your wedding reception, your birthday party, your corporate event, anything. So, I mean, it's mostly all on the north side, northeast Atlanta. So, um, so if you need any event space that we have that available, so you have to give us a call or go into one of my um, handles, Any Girl Entertainment, or you can call 678-680-8481. Um, so that's the big thing that's coming up for um, Any Girl Entertainment. I'm just so excited about these new things that we're doing and we're allowing people to work more. Um, so we're, you know, I know the serving industry kind of is not good right now, but we're paying more than most companies out here to get great staff in here. So if you are looking awesome. to work, we are looking for um, bartenders, wait staff, event crew, you know, anything that you do that you can think about in the uh, event staffing industry, we need you and we're willing yeah. to pay you, pay you well. So um, give us a call as well if you need work. So I'm always, we love mentoring. We love, you know, it's not about just having people work for us. We are creating leaders. And that's the big thing. We want everybody to learn how to be able to own their own business and learn and grow. So, um, so come on board. It's not just about you working a job because we're gonna make you. We will make you a leader, whether you like it or not, or you're just gonna <laughs> leave. You know. <laughs> so you got a leader. Go home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, honey, it has been a great time having you down here on the set, on the show, and giving them some information. You gave them hopes and dreams. You gave them an opportunity to learn about business, um, the importance of business, things behind the scene of business, how to keep going about business. And you also gave them an opportunity for employment. Yeah. Guys, you can't get it any greater than this little queen right here bringing it all down to the house of APAP Media. All right. I love it. Yana Lou loves you. So please I come love back. You too. I'm telling you. And guys, she is from where I'm coming from, where I'm from. Yeah. I'm from. Hey. Yeah. I ain't going to pump your hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she from where I'm from. We're, we're, we're representing. I'm going to have to give big ups to Norcross High School. If there's anybody in Norcross High School that want to put their thing down and get it going, come on, represent. I mean, she's going to help you over there. I'm going to help you with your media. Let's get it. Let's get it going. Yeah, I love yeah. it. It's all about helping out and loving each other. And the big word for this year for me is reciprocity. Better say it. So reciprocity. Remember that. If you don't know what it is, look it up. I mean, okay. you're not doing it.
Mm-mm. Did you just give it to him, girl? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Guys, it has been fun down here with Indian Girl Native, real to real to real. Please go and check her music out. Please check out everything that she has for you to see and to dive into because you might find something that you like and, you know, she can assist you with becoming a business owner yourself. Hey, so check it out. And if you need some events planned, um, like she said, she have the hot places for you to be able to host those events. She also have uh, photography and all those good things. She can take care of you. So listen, invest in her. That's what we do down here at Chew and Chat. We invest in people and we give you the information so that you can be very resourceful and have, you know, all that you need. So I tell you this, we'll be back live five in a minute. We have one more hot guest coming at you and peace.